Remember, it's Raps Garage Shop, not Raps Art Shop. Okay, my YouTube people. I had a question asked of me from someone who was building a chopper. They were using a twin cam motor that was run on CAN bus, and they had an ignition switch from an old motorcycle, the old style. What they wanted to do was to use their old style ignition switch and have it work with the CAN bus system. So I was able to figure that out, and, and this is what it looks like. So the switch they have was off an Evo style motorcycle, and the way they are is you have the switch, and it has the key section, but underneath it has three posts that come off of it. So the three posts, I'm not sure what the order of the wires are, I don't have that in front of me, but for explanation purposes, let's say the 12 volt DC positive comes here on the center. And then over here you have your ignition system and then over here is the accessories what happens is when you turn this switch one way it puts that 12 volt dc power onto the accessory side and then when you turn it the other way it puts it over to the ignition system so electrically it looks like this when you're off the bars connect it to the off and then when you switch it to ignition it puts that 12 volt power up to the ignition side of wiring harness or when you switch it the other way you switch it over the accessory and it just lights the accessory side of your harness but the can bus is a little different so here's the schematics and you can get these off of harley davidson's website and right there is the ignition switch for the can bus system for a 2014 touring bike and right there is the ignition switch so the way you would make this work you can see here that you have a black green coming in on wire number one and on wire number two you have a white blue so if you're going to use an old style switch coming into the side that would normally have the 12 volts you would put the black green on that wire and then for the accessory you're going to come out and you're going to get an 800 ohm resistor and come down to this terminal and on the ignition terminal you're going to solder a 200 ohm resistor. At this point, you're going to connect these two together and then run it to the white blue wire. That's going to enable you to be able to use an old style switch on a new CAN bus system. Now with these resistors, you want to get precision resistors. Any old resistor is not going to work. I'll put an Amazon link to the resistors you're going to need. And these resistors are really inexpensive but it's important to get a precision resistor because the CAN bus system is going to be looking for something that's very very close to 200 and 800 ohms it can't be a 5% or a 10% resistor that might be too much and not allow the system to work you could also use any switch you can find it doesn't have to be an old Harley switch it just needs any three position switch where you have off and then one side for the accessory and one side for the ignition and to go one step further, if you don't want to light the accessory separate from the ignition, which I never use that feature on any of my bikes, but if you don't want to do that, you just need an on-off switch and only need a 200 ohm resistor. You don't have to have that second 800 ohm resistor in order for this to work. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments, and I hope this explains clear enough what I'm trying to convey. You can use an old style switch as long as you add these resistors and you put the wires to the right points. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It only takes you a second and it helps me out a lot. And thank you for watching.